Hey guys, it's Trisha Carr. I have new exciting things going on with my Mystic Arts Academy. You can now subscribe to receive all of the live monthly content for about a third of the investment of a single class. Included are at least one downloadable guided meditation per month, two live events ranging from classes, channeled messages, group readings, intuitive development guidance, Q&A sessions, and tons of community. You'll also have access to a private Facebook community for fellowship and support, and this space is kept super sacred and high vibrational. Your subscription gives you access to the whole library of classes and live events, which are on a vast array of topics. All events are offered online by Zoom video call, and many are also offered live in person at my studio here in Los Angeles. Subscribing to the Mystic Arts Academy is also a way for you to support the Charmed Life podcast and engage on a deeper level. I'm offering the subscription at a super low rate of $22 a month. Joining now locks in this rate for as long as you're subscribed. Click on the description of this episode or go to my website, trishacarcharm.com, and click on Mystic Arts Academy. I look forward to connecting. Hi, everyone. It's Trisha Carr. Welcome to this mini episode of Charmed Life and the 27th phase of 29 Days of Lunar Phase. We're almost there. (laughs) We're almost at the new moon, a full lunar cycle of charting the moon energy every single day. And so if you are just stumbling across this particular episode, that's what's been going on. That's what I mean by phase 27. It is the 27th day in a row of charting the lunar energies in this cycle. And welcome, if it's your first time listening or watching. I would love it if you would subscribe, like, share, comment, and and again, share. I said that already, but I'm going to say it again. If you want to share it with someone, if you enjoy this, that would mean so much to me. And I thank you so much for joining your energy to it. And so we are still in this waning crescent. The moon is becoming ever more of a sliver of her illumination. And this is the energy that is being presented. This time of waning crescent, as we, we aren't quite setting the intentions, we're getting ready to set the intentions. And it is also called the balsamic moon. It is the time of healing. Balsamic refers to the balsam of a tree, the healing ointment of a tree. And being in this healing energy, and healing from any intentions or manifestations that you did not see come to fruition and finding a way to make uh, amends with that. And, and when I say amends, it's not because anything has gone wrong. It's that we bring our energy in alignment with the alignment and recognize how everything is in flow and everything is truly working out for your highest good, for your success. And so that could be some of the affirm- affirming you could do around it. The universe is conspiring for my success and everything always works out. Because everything does always work out. And the evidence of that is that you are here now. And so it has worked out and it is working out. And of course, if you have had wonderful a, a, a season or a cycle of really cool manifestations, then it is a great time to really deepen your gratitude about that and your ownership of it, your co-creation with it so that sometimes I know when I've manifested something really big, then I, I kind of have a little bit of a, I've had a snap back in my energy because I feel like I don't deserve it. And that's a kind of weird thing that we do when we manifest something that's largely out of proportion in a positive way. We can, we can start to feel a little bit of a wobble. And, and that's okay. We just bring our energy into that alignment. And then, of course, any, anything in between. Those are all the ways that we can experience this coming into alignment with the process. So as we are beginning to set those intentions again, we want to set the intentions as the new moon cycle begins. So not at this time. Right now we want to be in our healing. And so some things that we can do, as I asked Spirit, and I asked, as I asked the moon, the advice about what kind of healing we could do, some activities, some practices. And one that came through very clearly was actually just kind of chill, man. You know, if you want to Netflix and chill, if you want to pick up a beautiful novel, that actually came through. I was doing some mini readings online on social media earlier. And the advice for someone was about 
do is to read a novel, like get immersed in a novel because it will spark uh, and alight some spiritual DNA that maybe had been a little bit dormant, a little bit dull. And it's it's not so, it's doing it just for the pleasure of it and to get lost into it and that it is a deeply co-creative experience to read something like a novel that's really immersive because you are co-creating the story by receiving it. You're co-creating it with the author and you can't see where you end and the author begins and that is the experience of a co-creation. And so you're practicing that energy again and you're doing something just for you. And that's a really sacred sacred practice to have and you know it's not for self-improvement or it's not for some kind of work or you know some kind of outcome it's for you and it's for the experience of creation so there's one for you another one could be just watching a wonderful movie or or tv show and spending time casual time laughing maybe watch a comedy special because laughing really hard or crying really hard <laughs> laughing really hard and crying really hard is a way to release energy and this healing time is a is a time of 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 release and so yeah i mean crying really hard if there are tears that want to that have gone uncried this could be a good time to do it and particularly in a way when you have the kind of cry that feels good so it could be a cry of joy you could be watching a movie I don't know, one that comes to mind is Marley and Me. Oh my goodness. If you haven't seen that film, it, it's about a family's relationship with their dog. And we, we go through the whole life of the dog. I'll just say that. But it's a beautiful way to experience the depth of that love and allow it to release. So it could be cathartic cry, or it could be something that is a celebrating kind of cry um, or laugh, you know, laughter. I actually just watched um, a, the new Netflix special by Eliza Schlesinger. And she's she's a bit she's racy. So if you don't like racy stuff, then, you know, but <laughs> and if any time that you're watching or listening to this, there might be a new Netflix comedy special of someone that could just really give you a good old laugh. There is actually I recommend highly Tiffany Haddish's special. She's a comedian. And it was I think it was last year. I don't know if it was 19 or 2018. And I honestly can't remember. I think it may have been on Amazon. I'm not sure what platform it is. But if you Google it. And I think it may have been something like unicorn or black unicorn or something like that because that's one of her bits. She talks about being a unicorn. But this particular comedy special, she is hilarious. And But at the same time, this special that she does, it is so positive because really what, how she talks about how she created her career is very law of attraction. Like it's about this energy that we're talking about and being positive and having positive expectations and seeing everything in a positive light, even though, you know, she had challenges like she grew up in the foster care system and, and you know, had some difficult times while she was, her career was up and coming. She kept a positive outlook. So there's some, some tips there. But I have another that Spirit showed me. And when I say Spirit, I mean the connection with the moon, the energy of, of moon spirit. And uh, she showed me doing a, a kind of intuitive self energy healing. And the exercise was to just maybe if you want to meditate first or if you can just take do some divine breaths even right now. And just allow those breaths to just clear the space. And with, if you just clear your mind for a moment and then allow your awareness to draw out any particular chakra, just of the seven chakras that are oriented to the body and one that would like some support, some healing, however you want to see it. But don't think about it. We want to just clear the mind and like, and you ready? Okay, clear your mind and like that. Now, if you had to guess, which chakra? would like a little support, a little healing, a little connecting. This is really also about relating. And if you pick up two, then actually, then I asked Moon, <laughs> I asked Spirit, if you pick up two, if two come forward, then still just pick one. And it doesn't matter which one, or you could, again, if you want to use, if I had to guess which one would be the best to relate to in this now, then the other one you could do the next day, you could just do the same exercise. You could do it tomorrow. So if you have that chakra that wants a little relating, a little some, a little connecting support, or it wants to support you as you relate to it, and then have a you know get get nice and relaxed if you want to lie down, and then take a piece, take a crystal. Now in particular, I recommend 
calcite. This is an orange calcite. I actually have several pieces of different color of calcite. So if you have calcite, this would be really lovely. And any color that you have, if you already have one, or because we just are going to work with synchronicity, or if you have more than one piece like I do, then intuitively, you know, allow that knowing of which is the better energy you hold the crystal connect with it ask it for its support ask it if it wants to help you with this always do that first and then put that crystal on that chakra and now it's kind of hard to put it on the root chakra so with the root chakra you can if you're lying down you could just put it tuck it between your legs like tuck it up you know <laughs> like a, a, around your butt or something um, and that will work or you could kind of just sit on it too and that would work and uh, you know so anywhere else you want to put it and any of the other chakras that light up now if you don't have calcite and then just if you have another crystal connect with it and ask it if it wants to support you in this and just if you get a yes or a no and then move forward and if you don't have any crystals then the other options are and these aren't the other options these are just as good <laughs> um, if you have animals in your family if you have a dog or a cat or a bird and if they want to help you, you could actually ask them if they want to put their body on your body in that area. And they will literally use their physical body to energy heal you, to actually help you to alchemize and transmute the energy. And they will release it. With this, you ask them to help you to move it out so that, you know, your animal doesn't hold on to it his or herself. And if they don't, if they aren't in the state of mind to sit with you, then that could mean that they would rather not actually use their body touch to touch but rather their awareness so ask them if they would like to help you even if they're not sitting right on your body or if they're sitting near you in some way and you'll get a, a, a yes or maybe if you get a no not right now that's fine whatever answer you get will be perfect incidentally don't forget about my animal communication program that's coming up if you feel like you want to explore this more check it out the links are in the in the description here and and, and then other options, and again, I, again I, when I say other, I don't mean like they are lesser than. They're just additional, equally great ways to do this with uh, just any stone. If you want to go pick a beautiful stone that you might have in your yard or on a, a trail walk or something, or um, some um, herbs or some vegetable or fruit, anything that is natural, a piece of wood, a piece of bark, or go sit with a tree, align your back to the tree and ask the tree if it would like to help you to support and relate to that particular chakra. And the, how you can also extend this is to connect with the chakra and communicate with it and say, do you have anything to tell me about or how can I support you? Whatever feels right and then just allow whatever feeling and sensing any inner vision, any clairaudient and your inner ear, anything at all and just allow it to flow. Always knowing that spirit only communicates positively, only ever communicates positively. So if you get any fear or discomfort, that's just your that's just your lower mind, and it's just a release. Any energies that are any thoughts or feelings that are negative, they're just moving through. They're not staying with you, and they are not dangerous. They're moving through. They're releasing, and so it's exactly as it should be. If you come across some negativity in your mind or in your feeling sense, it's because it's leaving. It's that old. You have to see the trash in order to take it out. And that's all it is. And so just hold space for it and allow it to leave. And then when it's left and when it's when you've moved through it, then you can continue to connect with your tree or your animal or your mineral. And that's what I have for you today for this 27th day of our 29 days of lunar phase. So we have tomorrow is actually the last day. We're going to be, we should be at the dark, the dark of the moon tomorrow. That's going to be really fun. And then we'll be moving into, we're just going to go past the phase. Usually lunar phases are about 28 and a half, somewhere around there. You know, it's, it's a little bit variable, not uh, exactly aligned to the calendar that we keep. And but we're going to go just past and wrap around to that 29th day, which will be at the beginning again, we'll be at the new moon with our intentions. So I will check in again with you tomorrow. Be sure to check out all of the links in this post if you are interested in working with me. I also have my brand new, really cool, life-changing coaching program that I've just launched. I don't say that as uh, egotistical. 
I say because there are so many different modalities that we use in this healing program and it is it is results oriented to shifting things in your life. And I say it as someone who has been using these for myself and utilize them with my own therapist, hypnotherapy, um, NLP, and of course my intuitive healing, channeling, and all of that. So check it out if you're interested in that. I have a very limited roster for that and I've just launched it. So I, uh, that's all I have for you today then. And I, like I said, I'll check in with you tomorrow on day 28. Thanks for tuning in. I love you, whoever you are. Hey everyone, it's Trisha Carr. I'm really excited because it is the time of the year for me to offer my Animal Communication Comprehensive Program live online. Whether you are interested in the profession or if you would like to connect more deeply with your own animal family members, having an understanding of this form of telepathy will enhance your life and all of your other intuitive gifts. About once per year, I offer this program live, and that time is now. It is starting in December of 2019, and this particular live program has some bonus time added in. So the way this program works is it is delivered live online, and we also have a private study group of a beautiful community of like-hearted animal and nature lovers. Go ahead and check it out. The link is in the description, and I hope to see you there. Thank you so much for your love of animals, for your love of our planet, and for shining your light on our beautiful world.